Hey guys, this is Ernesto and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be taking a look at the images coming out of the Sony and specifically we're going to be looking at the color uh, that's coming out of the Sony a7 III and we're going to be comparing the color to that of the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, the lens that I used on uh, for both of these cameras is the 85 1.2 uh, Canon lens. I use that both on the 5D Mark III and I use that also on the Sony a7 III. So we're gonna be comparing, um, you know, if the lens makes a difference as far as color is concerned. And also we're gonna be using the Sony native 85 uh, 1.8 lens and comparing the color uh, science on that lens and also the camera body, obviously, to that of the Canon 5D Mark III. And lastly, we can also be looking at the sharpness and see if there's any difference in regards to the sharpness on these two lenses. All right, so with that said, let's begin. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm comparing two separate images. Now, if I had to present these two images in front of anyone to say, you know what? Pick one of these images and let me know which one is Canon or Sony. Um, I think the choice will be a little bit hard, right? Um, however, you could, most people will gravitate towards the warmer image. And I could, you know, if you look at these images really, really closely, you could tell, you know, one is a little bit warmer than the next, which would be that of, that would be this image on the left hand side. And obviously warmer images tend to be more on the Canon side of things. Now, I do shoot my images. Um, both of these images are raw, by the way, straight out of camera. This is the Canon image. This is the Sony image. But this was shot on the 85 1.2 lens for the Canon. And this was shot on the 85 1.8 lens for the Sony. Now, when I do shoot my images, as far as the white balance is concerned, I do shoot it in cloudy when I'm outside. So both of these images were set to cloudy if I change them to daylight, which is probably what the camera would um, automatically set it to if I was outside. You will notice the how it looks as far as these two separate images. As you can see, this is a little bit cooler, the Sony one, this one, even though it's daylight, this one is still a little bit warmer. Okay, so this is how the camera would have, you know, um, render these two images if it, if I put the white balance on auto. So that's how it looks. Um, as, as far as, you know, the color is concerned, I'll leave it up to you guys to determine which one you prefer. Obviously these things are all subjective. I gravitate a little bit more to, towards the warmer image. So what I would tend to do with the Sony image or what I have been doing, cause I'm still testing out this camera. What I have been doing um, is just make it cloudy because that's what I would then generally shoot in. And then I would just bump up the Kelvin just a little bit more just to make it a little bit warmer. And if I was to put this camera here to uh, cloudy, right? Then you would see the two separate images, okay? Um, so as you could still see, uh, Canon's image is just a little bit warmer and the skin tone just looks a little bit better than that of the uh, Sony. Now, if I was to zoom in on these images here, just to look at the sharpness, right? And this is no scientific test. This is just my observation. Obviously, like I said, you guys can make your own assessment, but this is just my own um, observation, observation on these two images. So looking at these two Im images, as far as sharpness is concerned, you could tell the Sony image is clearly sharper than that of the Canon. Um, I mean, the, there's no dispute in it, right? It's just sharper. Um, and then if you look at the skin tones, since we're this close, you could see that the skin tones are, are much better than that of uh, the Sony. You could see it's a little bit cooler still on the Sony side of things than it is on the uh, Canon. So that was my two quick um, review on you know these two images. I'm gonna bring up a third image and that third image is just gonna be looking at the Canon lens on the Sony body and see how it compares to these two images. 
All right guys, so here is the third image. So this image here is coming straight out of the Sony, the Sony a7 III and using the 85 1.2 lens, the Canon 85 1.2 lens. Um, so this one was shot in, um, let me see, I think it was in cloudy as well, but let's put it to daylight so we could start from the beginning. So as you could see here, it's still a little bit cooler. Um, now, if I change it to cloudy, which is how it was shot. Now, as far as the color is concerned, the color is still a little bit uh, cooler, I guess, to my taste. So if we just uh, increase the Kelvin just a little bit. Again, guys, this is all subjective. Um, you know, you could start wherever you want to start. And for me, you know, I'm still playing around with these um, files to get it to, you know, to the point where I'm, you know, 100% happy, if you would. I don't think you have to be 100% happy, but you know what I mean. Um, you try to work with the images as best you can. But in any case, this is what the image looks like. Now, if I was to zoom in here again to look at the sharpness, oops, that's, uh, and I could tell already that um, it, appears to be um, not sharp. Okay, so here we have the Canon 85 1.2 on the 5D Mark II, and then we have the Sony 85 1.8 on the Sony a7 III in the middle here. And then on the right here, we have the Sony a7 III on the 85 1.2 Canon lens. Um, as far as the sharpness is concerned, as we could tell from before, the Canon one wasn't too sharp. The Sony one seems to be sharper. And then the Canon on the Sony body also seemed to, it seemed to be a little bit sharper than that of uh, the Canon one. So it could be that, you know, that I personally, sorry about that guys, my phone is ringing. It seems like um, I may have you know, may have missed the focus. I don't know, um, but or it could just be wasn't that sharp. It wasn't. It, it isn't that sharp. But this is it. That's these are the three comparisons that I wanted to show you guys. And again, you guys can make your own assessment as to which one is is better as far as color and sharpness and all that good stuff. All right. The first setup was basically a backlit image, no flash, just backlit image. And this particular setup is in the shade. And we have the Canon 85 1.2 lens on, well, with the 5D Mark III on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have the Sony 85 1.8 lens, um, both in the shade. It looks like I underexposed the Sony just a little bit. Um, so as far as color is concerned, as you can see here, the Sony image just appears to render a little bit cooler. Um, and the Canon image seemed to render a little bit warmer. Now, if I was to change this, I changed it already from, you know, cloudy to daylight. So we could start off on a clean slate. So if I cha change this to cloudy, like I would normally shoot it. And if I change the Sony here to cloudy, as I would normally shoot it, this is what the images look like when you compare uh, the two. Okay. So I think as far as a starting point is concerned, um, for me, I think this is a good starting point and I could basically work with the Sony image to try to get it, you know, to match that of the Canon a little bit more. I'm still, like I said, I'm still experimenting, trying to trying different things to see how I could get it closer. Uh, to the Canon um, image, but I think as far as a starting point is concerned, I think this is a good starting point because I think if even I push the Kelvin a little bit on the Sony here, I mean I can't push it too much because it will be <laughs> it won't look too good. Um, and another thing, I guess if I bump up my uh, exposure or the shadows, let's see here because I did ex underexpose this shot just a little bit. So if I bump up my exposure here, oh, bump up that. All right, that looks a little bit better, maybe too much. So yeah, I think I can't push the Kelvin too much because I think it would mess up her skin tone just a little bit. So 
I, I need to, you know, if you guys have any suggestions on what you do to make your color, um, the color on your subjects, you know, pop a little bit better, just drop those comments down below, it would be helpful. All right, so let's zoom in here and look at the sharpness on, on the lens and see if they were sharp. So I think in this scenario, I think, um, oops, I think I didn't zoom in close enough here. I think in this scenario, I think Canon and the Sony lens, I think they're both in this scenario. I think they're kind of sharp. I think the Sony one is a little bit more sharp. Like you could see all the pores and stuff like that. Um, well-defined on the Sony than that of the Canon. Um, but you know, they're both relatively sharp, but I think the Sony one edges out uh, the Canon uh, lens just a little bit. All right, so that's my quick assessments. Again, you guys can make your own. All right, finally, we have the last image that I wanted to pull in here, which is the Sony with the 85 1.2 Canon lens. So that's this image here. These are the other two images that we worked on. This was the Canon with the 85 1.2, and this was the Sony with the 85 1.8. So now this is the just the Canon um, 85 1.2 with the Sony a7 III. So now if I go to the white balance here, the daylight, if I change it from daylight to cloudy, uh, which is how we'll normally have it outside. And if I just push up the Kelvin just a little bit here, um, again, I can't push it too much. Um, so again, this is all subjective and you guys will decide on which one of you uh, prefer. Um, but if you look at the three images, you could see for this particular setup, you could see that there's a clear difference between uh, the color on all of these three images. So if you were to put this in front of someone to say, pick which one you like, um, I'm sure they'd be able to clearly pick the one that they uh, prefer as far as color, because it, there's a clear difference here. In the first setup, there wasn't that much of a difference, but in this particular setup, you could see that there's a clear difference in terms of color. All right, so now let's check out the sharpness on all of these three images and just see here um, if the sharpness hold up. Okay, so as far as sharpness is concerned, um, on the Canon, Again, it's it's a little bit sh uh, soft, but it, it is it is sharp compared to uh, it compared to the previous image that we were looking at. And then on the 85 1.2 Canon lens on the Sony body, uh, you could see it's a lot more sharper than that of the Canon um, 85 1.2 with the 5D Mark III. Uh, so it's a lot more sharper. But then if you look at the Sony. Uh, 85 1.8 lens on the Sony body, you could see it's a lot more sharper because you have a lot more detail um, in the subject's eyes. So again, you guys make your own assessment on what you think is better in terms of color and sharpness and all that good stuff. Um, you could tell there's a clear distinct um, difference with respect to sharpness with the Sony um, uh, 85 1.8 lens compared to the Canon 85 1.2 lens. All right, so that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, I hope it was helpful to you. Again, this is just me documenting my journey on uh, utilizing the Sony a7 III comparing it to um, my Canon and the various lenses that I have for Canon. So again, I hope it was helpful. If it was helpful, hit that thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Please share this video with your friends and family if you think it will be helpful to them. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.